Hello, Divine. How are you guys doing? I hope your spirits find you well. Thank you for joining me on this transformational journey. My name is KB. Whew. Just had to get that out. I feel a little anxious when I do these videos sometimes. But anyway, I appreciate you guys showing up for these videos. You know you don't have to do that. But if you didn't, I wouldn't have nobody to talk to. So <laughs> I'm kind of glad you do. <laughs> and I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for your positive energy towards these videos. I really, really do appreciate it. Whether it be a comment or a, a, a thumbs up because you like the substance or you like my energy. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And I appreciate your energy. So by the title, you already know we're talking about detox. So I just wanted to give just, you know, if anybody was interested, the beginners, the people who really don't know, even if you are advanced or intermediate, if you, there could be some tips that I could probably give, but the intermediate and advanced probably um, already know. But this is mainly for the beginners how to prepare for your detox, what you need to do, the things that you need to get. Because I hope you guys join me. I'm going to be detoxing very soon, like maybe in about two weeks or maybe a week. Yeah, something like that. But I wanted to give you some information and I wanted you to go out and get some of the things that you need for this detox. Keep in mind, you actually don't need anything but if you wanted to get some things to help you on your journey, you can. But just know you don't need anything for a healthy detox, okay? So those of you who can't afford to go out and get anything, no worries. You can still detox with me. And you'll get some very good results, no matter what. You'll get very good results. So, um... The number one thing is consulting your doctor. You have to make sure you have a clean bill of health. And this is for the beginners, um, the intermediate and advanced. I'm hoping that you guys are going to a naturopathic doctor. But even the beginners, if you have a naturopathic doctor, please go to them and get clear to do a, a detox. Now, if you're doing a very basic detox, you don't need a naturopathic doctor or a doctor, period. But if you're doing something that is in-depth, then you do, all right? And typically, the medical doctors don't want you to... One moment. My thing just timed out. Okay, sorry about that. But they don't want you to um, do a water fast or a dry fast they always steer you away from doing the water fast or dry fast. And they can be risky. This is why you need to go to a naturopathic doctor if you plan on doing any of those things. But a medical doctor is gonna say no, just heads up. But anyway, the number two is why are you doing the detox? I'm doing it for healing and spiritual for spiritual growth. So you need to figure out why you're doing the detox so the mission can be always to the front and you can stay focused because there's a goal in mind, you know? The number three is the methods of detoxing. So we'll, we'll probably do most of these. Um, fasting, supplements, dry fasting, enema, um, castor oil packs, and the last one is urine therapy. That one we may not do. Well, some of you may, you never know. The fourth thing is fasting. So let's let's talk about fasting. So fasting is one of the methods of detoxing, right? So um, with fasting, there's uh, four methods of fasting. One is removing just something from your diet. You can, like say for instance, you are on a standard American diet. You can remove the meat, the dairy, and the processed foods. That is a form of fasting. And that's a, a wonderful form of fasting. You don't have to add anything. All you're doing is taking away. That's a beautiful form of fasting if you are on the American Standard Diet. Another form of fasting is partial fasting. And that's like one meal a day. Or you can do a juice fast part of the day. Or you can do a dry fast part of the day. So partial fasting. Then there's liquid fasting and then there's dry fasting. And the different... So 
those are the methods of fasting. So the different kinds of different types of fasting would be like, say for instance, I just mentioned the SAD diet. If you're on the SAD diet, taking away those things is a part of fasting. You can become a pescatarian for a second. You can become a vegetarian for a second, vegan, raw vegan, a fruitarian, a liquidarian, a water fast or a dry fast. The levels. So I mentioned earlier, the levels are very important. Very, very important. There's a beginner level, there's a um, intermediate level and an advanced level. And we'll go over some of those. I'll do a protocol in the next video so we can go in depth about the beginning level because I, I don't want people to get messed up. You could really mess yourself up on a fast if you don't know what you're doing. You can really mess yourself up. Trust me, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, from experience. So I've been doing these, I've been detoxing since 2013, so it's from experience. And with each detox, I get better and better. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for that. The, the knowledge, having the knowledge and helping myself, very grateful. But number eight is how long? Nope, number seven is dates. So you want to think about, are you going to do it on a three-day weekend? Are you going to do it on a vacation? Do you not have to work? So when you're doing a detox, you need to really plan what day, what day are you going to do the detox on? Set aside that time so you can be prepared. If you plan, you, if you plan, you don't fail. But if you don't plan, you plan to fail. So you need to make sure you can do these detoxes on a time when you don't have work. Because when you get into a heavy detox or a, a detox that is going to drain you, you need time off because you, some people do it, they go to work, they do a water fast, they do a dry fast, but it's not recommended. And think about it. Your body is trying to heal itself. You're out there exerting yourself. The body cannot keep the energy to do the work if your energy is going outward to do work that doesn't make any sense but you can really hurt yourself if you do something like that so just plan for the detox if you're doing an intermediate or an advanced detox plan or fast rather plan okay so the next one is how long so how long are you gonna do it you have the date in mind how long are you gonna do you're gonna do it for three days a week 60 days, you can do it for a month, you can do it 60 days. However, you need to make sure you have the days in mind. So here are some of the supplies. I think this is number nine, supplies. So here's some supplies that you may need. Um, and just make sure you check the Dollar Tree, you could check the thrift stores, you can check OfferUp, Craigslist, for items like a dehydrator, a juicer, a scale, um, high blood pressure cuffs, whatever I have on this list, make sure you check the thrift stores and offer up places like that so you can get it dirt cheap. So some of the foods you wanna make sure you have on hand is uh, whatever food you plan on fasting on. Uh, you want some juices, some teas. Chamomile tea is really good when green tea is the best when you're fasting. It helps your appetite. You don't crave. Well, you may have some cravings, but it does suppress your appetite a lot, a great deal. So green tea, apple cider vinegar, maybe some lemons, some herbs, some clays, Epsom salt, things like that. Whatever you're thinking about fasting on, go get those items. Be prepared. That's what I'm trying to say. Be prepared, honey. <laughs> um, let me show you some items that I have. Okay. So you know you want to get a scale. Got a scale. This is the scale that I use. Um, all I do is step on it and it goes straight to my phone because I guess I'm a little lazy when it comes to that. It's just easier that way. Then I've got, but you don't have to get a scale like that. You get the, there's some inexpensive scales because a lot of people don't like to weigh themselves, but I like it because I want to know my body fat and I want to know my, what is it? Lean, lean to fat ratio. That's the body fat, but the BMI. 
enemas. You need an enema bag. You can do this in a bag. Uh -oh. You could do this enema bag or you could do this one. I've used this for years, 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 years. And then I stopped using it because I put boiling water in here and then I would smell the plastic. And I'm like, well, if I could smell the plastic, it must be the plastic must be, is the plastic leaching in here? But what you can do instead of putting boiling hot water in here to cleanse it, do the Castell um, soap. And after that, rinse it with some peroxide. Rinse it with some peroxide. Because it, this is going to save your life. It It's what you have to use to get the job done if you don't have a means to get something like this. And I wanted this in Mexico, but I couldn't because Amazon didn't ship it to Mexico. So I had to use this. But I've been using this for years. Don't be scared or afraid. Just don't put boiling hot water in it, okay? And keep your water lukewarm. And thoroughly cleanse it. But this one, that now that one is probably about $4.50. And if you are looking to get this one, it's probably about 40 bucks, I think. $40 for the bucket. I dropped the stuff. Now this I got at, you need one of these. I got this at the Dollar Tree. You need a butt pressure cuff. I got this at Walmart. And this is when you get deep into your detoxing, you're gonna need that. And what else? A tape measure. I dropped it somewhere, but get a cheap tape measure. Maybe at the, I think you can get that at the Dollar Tree too. Get a cheap tape measure. And then you're going to need a journal some pens, some stickers, and maybe something to keep your mind occupied. This is like a meditation coloring book. Very nice. When I, when you fast, when you start fasting from other things like maybe the internet or the telephone, stuff like that, this is what you're going to need. And I showed you the stickers, fun stickers to keep it fun when you journal I think that sums it up guys I think that sums it up so I hope you guys join me on my detox journey I tried to make a video I tried to upload a video I'm just wanted to let you know the reason why I may sound a little blah blah I tried to upload this video and it would not upload so I ended up having to do it over and I'm a little drained because of it it's like no i don't i can't but i did because <laughs> i love y'all okay all right you guys i hope you join me on the detox and i hope you understood what i was trying to convey um until the next video bye